Hi guys, so I have the of me here today. We are gonna answer like the questions that you guys usually ask us about studies and university. Yes, we will answer all the hard questions. Yeah. I used to want to like be a chef and I want to be a physiotherapy, nutritionist, singer, you know, dancer as well. And it's so like weird that suddenly I changed my mind and I decided to do medicine. So like a lot of people wonder like what? How do you even decide on changing from this to this? I actually did research and realized that the things that I really wanted is it's like a mixture of like challenges, sciences and something that is not boring. Also, I feel that the criteria of being a doctor resonates with me, like it aligns with my characteristics. However, that's just the first step. You still have to consider different factors, for example, the pros and cons of it, before coming to your decisions, as you don't want to regret your choice in the future due to your first thought. For me, the thing is that ever since I was young, I've always been inclined into the sciences. So, growing up, I wasn't too sure of what I wanted to do. I just ended up doing medicine. My main goal is to become a researcher and I can do research yeah. within medicine itself. So The other reason that made me want to study medicine is also because I feel that medicine can be very broad. Like, once you study medicine already, it doesn't mean that you have to be a doctor. Like me, I am planning to be a specialist, so I know that I can branch into something else at the end. Other than that, if you study medicine, so you can also become a businesswoman from medicine. So like actually you have a lot of, a lot of like um thing you can do. It's just that you have to um spend that five years to like stress yourself out. This is how like I would think it to be. If you want to decide how to do your course, first you figure out whether you're an art student or you're mm. a science student. Mm. So from there you you don't look back on the other side. Let's say you choose to be a science student, you don't look back on the art side and regret or like wonder. Because yes, the grass will always seem greener on the other side but with enough of hard work, motivation, mm. determination, the grass would be greener wherever you are. It's really mm. up to you and oh, it's in good. your hands. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So then from there, and let's say like going back to my um, example, you're a science student, then you do for like there's a bunch of subjects that you can mm. choose from and you test try each subject. You just read a book or something and you see how interested you are within the subject. Yeah, like literally look, I'm very interested in medicine. <laughs> I got every book for medicine. <laughs> I have like so many books about medicine and I feel like like when I read me medical books, like stories related to like medicine, it actually hyped me up and made me want to read more. And when I watch like medical dramas and all, I actually feel so happy compared to watching other stuff. So that really tells me that how much I want. And even though I doubted myself and think that I, I'm not smart enough to study medicine enough. But you have to know that if you want something, there's definitely a way. So do not give up and go for it. So in general, your uni preparation is by going through these few steps. Once you have decided on the course that you want to do, for example medicine, the next step you have to do is by choosing your university. And I got a lot of questions about how to choose your university wisely and how to start. Well, how I do it is by researching, which I mean, yeah, of course research, but how do I research is through websites like Medicorder. And one thing that I really really like about Medicorder is that there's a comparison tool which allowed me to compare different universities and allowed me to have an overview of like what the universities provide and what they want from us. A few things that you really have to consider is the courses and the structure of the university. For example, some universities will provide problem-based learning, integrative, as well as the traditional way. If you are a person who likes um, group learning like me, problem-based learning might be more suitable for you. So when you're choosing your university, try to find the university that suits you. Okay, so that's the first thing that you have to look for in the university. And second thing that you have to look for is obviously the environment. Well, if you're fine studying in a busy city, then go for it. But if you prefer a more peaceful atmosphere, then university like St. Andrews will be a better suit for you. And the third thing is what they want from you. For medicine in the UK, usually they will have entrance tests, which is UCAT and as a BMAT. So some of the universities, they will ask for BMAT and some of them will ask for UCAT. So you really have to do your research. I would really advise you guys to take UCAT and BMAT together rather than just risking your life and take BMAT only. Because the chances of you getting the BMAT uni is pretty low as it is really, really competitive. For medicine, we have only four choices compared to other courses. So the best options for you to apply is by choosing two UK universities to be met universities or all four UK universities. Well, the reason why I say it's very risky is because 
for UCAT, you get your results before you apply for your university. So you can decide on which university you want and you can look at the threshold before applying. So the chances of you getting might be higher as compared to BMAT as you will only get back your results after you apply for university. In conclusion, please choose your university wisely and don't waste it. And next, once you have decided on your university, the thing that you have to do is to plan your schedule. You have to start preparing for your entrance test well, not neglecting your studies because your predicted grades are really important as well. Do not neglect your studies. Therefore, planning your time is really, really important when you're applying for your university due to the workload you have. Not only your entrance test, you also need to prepare for your personal statement. Hold on, don't forget about work experiences as well because they will add some points to your personal statement. All right, and the next question is, did I get any work experiences? Yep, I did get some work experience. I went to hospital and some clinic to shadow doctors. But due to the pandemic, um, obviously there are a lot of barriers for me to get more experiences. But what you can do is by signing up for different webinars. Do not worry about interview for now. Even though all the medical schools will interview you, but that is another level. The first step that you really have to do is by getting good grades for your entrance test as well as your academic grades and a good personal statement. However, here's the good news. I'm giving away this book, which is the medical school interview book that I use for my interview preparation. This book is really, really helpful. It contains everything that you need to know for your interview. So if you want to win this book, remember to like, comment down in the comment section why you want to study medicine and share my video on your Instagram page or Facebook. Remember to tag me and my YouTube channel page. Good luck and this book will belong to you soon. Okay, the next question is personal experience advice. Sorry, my dog is distracting me. Okay, personal statement advice. To start off, you can start reflecting. Reflection is really, really important for medical application. And try to jot down what you have done and what you have learned for the past few years. Yeah. Not only that, you can also try to um, read more, like different, different kind of books for you to include in your personal statement. Well, for Irish University, it is not as complicated as the UK when you apply for your medicine. There is this educational consultant called IUMC who assists you in your application for medical schools in Ireland. The reason why I say it is not as complicated is because you just need one application for four universities. In that application, you can rank the university based on what you want. With that, the university from your first choice will first look through your application. And if they don't accept you, the university that you put as your second choice will then look through your application. Once you are being chosen, they will then send you an invitation for your interview that determines your success. I am very against buying resources. So I would suggest that the only resource you buy for the UK is Medify. Medify, yeah. Yes. People use Medify. Medify is... Yeah. Medify, you should sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> I suggest you also do um, questions from the UK Consortium. Mm. And also if should you... Look here? Yeah. All that. <laughs> and also if you want to know further know what the UK entails, then you can go to their website. Some of my friends, they didn't actually spend any money on like UCAT mm. and they can just go well obviously like what we say like, use Medify and actually that's enough because yeah. they provide a lot of stuff yeah. on YouTube you can actually find a lot of like free resources like yeah. Karma Medic, Ali Abda, Ali Abda yeah. Yeah, all these good YouTubers also there's this one Instagram page mm -hmm. it's called We Are Medics and in their link they've got a free UCAT book just follow any websites related to you can be met or the yeah. medical in interview stuff because they'll give you a lot of resources and they'll just keep on updating you. I know that a lot of people they are pressured by their parents that ask them to study medicine like typical Asian parents they think that studying medicine, law and all, all this like big job is very stable for them but try to like think about it on a big scale obviously you want to like give back to your parents and you want them to be proud but do you really want to like do something that your parents force you to do and you're not happy for the rest of your life listen to your gut and go to something that you want yeah yeah but also to add on to that it may be something you want but you should also think realistically mm, and realistically. See, see the job market itself yeah like if you were to do a course that um doesn't provide any much food for yourself on the table then 
you're most likely much better off to do some course that you're less interested in than doing something that you will not be able to survive. The shark eat shark world out there. Mm-hmm. So no one's going to give you pity. No one's going to. We have to think realistically because yeah. it's a life. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's very different from what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like, be. <laughs> yeah, so you, you see, Don't like, fool. yeah, are you capable of being that one, like, you know, the one person that just rises to fame mm. all of a sudden? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Hey guys, so I actually wanted to do speech and drama as well, and I actually poured my heart into it by doing a lot of research and consult teachers. After joining more competitions, I realized that there are a lot of people who are much better than me. So it kind of just changed my perspective and made me realize that it is not easy as I thought. Hence, if we really can't decide, it is better off to explore more first. That's all for our university advice, and I hope this helps. And good luck with life in general. Yeah, just good luck in life. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe and share. Yeah, share. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Okay, bye bye.